I don't need it. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it, bro. I don't need the new packs that just dropped. Oh! Look at the topper though, too. Four times 92 plus. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. We need some milk. Yeah! Electronic like arts. You're gonna make me act up, bro. Maybe if I, if I give a little floppy toppy to electronic arts, they just might unban me. Y'all can kiss my ass, play with my nuts. It's possible. All right, on reality though, welcome back to Pack and Play. I'll be honest, the Pack and Play experience goes against everything I believe in. Wait. Yeah. The Pack and Play squad goes against everything I believe in, which is giving EA money. So I don't know if I will continue this series next year, but for now, I've already sold out to this degree, so I guess we're just gonna keep it going. I also have had some amazing experiences on the Pack and Play squad, so I don't know. Next year, we'll think of something extra creative that's different than Wheel of Butt, but also doesn't give EA money. We'll think of something. All right, well, as you know, this team is awesome. Like, awesome, awesome. 94 overall. But there can always be improvements done. Like, for example, uh, I have wide receivers that would have only been good like four months ago. And if you watch Wheel of Mutt, which I guarantee you do, you will know that having good wide receivers is very important right now. So we've got these brand new free agent packs. I'm very excited to get into one. This has nine free agency fantasy packs and the fantasy packs give you a choice from one of two 87 pluses, two of three 80 plus overalls and two of five 70 plus. This is actually a really interesting pack. Okay, I'm excited. All right, boys, wish me luck. I would not mind Allen Robinson. There's also 98 JJ Watt and 98. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Oh my God, it's so obvious. And there's a 98 Dak Prescott. Although I don't know if they're pullable. I am pumped though. Hey, one of the most fun things is seeing the pack animation. We're going to see it here, I think. Not on this round, actually. I take it back. Not this round. 88 Mark Clayton and I get Prater, but I don't need him. Whoa! That's sick. All right, it's a shitty 87 Duke Johnson. Mmm. All right, now we gotta figure out what the big pack animation is, because we got two mediocre players right there, but what happens if we pull something super good? Does it change up? Does it change up, or is EA getting lazy here? I'm excited for this. Darius Leonard, I don't mind. I don't really need it, but I don't mind either. Nick Fairley, Merlin Olsen. No, I don't think that's gonna be a big anime. Romeo Aquara and... Famous Jameis! Wait, okay, so either the animation is for the 95 and better, or there's no new animation. Not gonna help Gino, Joe Thomas, John Randall. Nope, nope. That doesn't look like a- Okay, so is there no big animation? Oh my god, 94 Bud Dupree. I don't know how I feel about the card art, but that animation. Animation gets me going, bro. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Casually got a 90k makers. I guess I'll take it. Ken Norton. So no, that's not a big animation. Curtis Samuel! That's exactly what I need! Curtis Samuel! Dude, he's gonna have wheels. This is exactly what I need, bro. Yeah, he's gonna have wheels. He's got to. Let me see those attributes, boy. I need at least 94. 94. 94. 94. Yes! Let's go! That's exactly what I need. We're giving this man route technicians, and we're gonna go off. Yes! Bro, that's so clutch. I would have been so sad. I didn't even know he was in the packs, to be honest, but I would have been sad if we didn't get anything that we needed. Because honestly, our pack and play squads, it's a little too good right now. I'm kind of excited to get to the playoffs and reset this team. I love having a good team, but you know, I want to I wanna be excited about building new players onto the team. So right now, there's not too much damage I can do. Troy Vincent, Khalil Mack, power up. I guess I'll take it. Steve Hutchinson, Bradbury, none of those are going to help. Marlon Mack again, and... Down! Down! $96! There was no animation! There was no... There was no special animation. I totally thought there'd be a special animation. Damn. I'll take it though. We take those. Two brand new wide receivers that we absolutely needed. Couldn't have asked for anything better in this bag opening. Noah Fant? Oh my dude, he's just so good. He's like one of the fastest tight ends in the game right now. I... What? Let's go. This is a very good one. Wait, do I already have that Noah fan? I almost think I already have that Noah fan, but I benched him because I have Todd Heap. Hey, we gotta keep Todd Heap in, bro. You can't disrespect Todd Heap. In 93 Jameis again, he won't help us this time. In fact, I never actually needed him. I'll probably just end up quick selling him. But now we're on to the toppers. We'll see if we can do a little damage here. I'd be cool with that. But Dupree. Oh wait, it's 92 plus. Wait, I got it. I got so excited like it was 87 plus or something. But Dupree already got him. Already, let me see somebody new. Love tackle. Russell Okung. 
That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's an upgrade to the team, but we take those. Malik Hooker, love your last name, man. It's awesome. And I do kind of need a free safety. Let's see if he's better to get Bud Dupree again. All right, let's go check this team out real quick. We have a 92 left tackle. Oh no, we got Dwayne Brown. He's staying in there. And we do already have no fan, actually. Mr. Chris Hogan, I'm sorry, man, but 93 speed compared to Curtis Samuel's 96 is just not gonna cut it. Allen Robinson has 94, so I'm gonna make Curtis Samuel my primary, make Allen Robinson my number two, and D-Hop's coming out. I'm so sorry, D-Hop, bro, but Chris Hogan is better by some stretch of the imagination. I hate, bro, I hate the fact you don't get route technician? He has to be a 95 overall to get route technician. Whoa, that sucks, bro. That sucks. Okay, Allen Robinson definitely gets it. He has. To. Damn, Curtis Samuel dropping the ball on the abilities. He'll still be really good, though. Not too worked up about it, but yeah, you know what? We'll just keep Ted and Apprentice so Curtis Samuel won't get any abilities, but we get Allen Robinson, DeAndre Swift, Aaron Rodgers, and Todd Heap. I like that. Hey, a little NFC North action. We got Packers, Lions, and Bears, presumably. I assume he resigned to the Bears. I guess I don't know. And then defensively, how does Malik Hooker square up with... 92 Brian Dawkins. Dawkins is so much faster. That Dawkins is a sleeper pick. Actually, I gotta keep that Dawkins in there, man. All right, boys, two more wins till we make the playoffs. Let's see what we can do. Hey, boys, don't think I forgot about all the crazy mayhem that goes on in sports in March, which is why I'm partnering with DraftKings on today's video to cook up something really cool for you guys. So DraftKings is the leader in one-day fantasy sports. You should know this by now. But we wanna put you in the center of the action with a shot at $1 million with DraftKings March Survivor Pool. On top of that, everyone who enters this Survivor Pool has a shot at $10,000 every time there's a big upset. So here's how you can play. Number one, you gotta enter DraftKings March Prediction Challenge. Then you pick one team per day of the tournament. For every single day that you make a correct pick, you move on to the next round. And those who make it the furthest will be declared the winners. Full rules and scoring can all be found at DraftKings.com. My big point is you gotta join. It's going to be a blast. And new users, make sure you use my promo code MMG during sign up and get a shot at $1 million in prizes. DraftKings, thank you for sponsoring today's video, guys. Enjoy the rest. Oh, there's a Justin Simmons? I just learned there's a Justin Simmons. All right, boys, first and 10. Let's see if he's in man coverage. Let's see if I have to cry or not. Oh, shh, never mind. I don't I don't know what he was in. Cover four palms. Okay, that's a good sign though, dude. If you start up a game and your opponent has a 99 overall everything and they're running cover one man, you're in trouble. But I like to see this though. I like to see Todd Heap get up. No! Todd, you had that ball. Todd, I'm so disappointed in you, my man. Hey, but Todd doesn't have to carry the team anymore because we got this new Allen Robinson, bro. So I say we uh I say we distribute the wealth. Oh! Uh -huh. what? Oh my god, I thought that was a dot! I really thought that was a dot. Never mind. Fourth and 16 from my own 13? The obvious choice here is to go for it, right? Let's look for Allen. Let's look for Mr. Allen. Oh, he's not there. Oh god. Oh god, nobody's there! And I didn't even get a throw off. We can say, though, we can say that I did not throw an interception on the first drop. Let's see if he just takes off with Lamar. I feel like he's just gonna take off with Lamar. Is that the strat here? No? He's looking for a throw. That, that isn't there, third and goal. Come on, boys, let's get the big clamps right now. Yeah, the only way I get screwed here is if he runs this ball. All right, we good. We looking good? Oh, we, we're not looking good. Good start, Huskers. Let's be smart. Let's hand this ball to Jonathan Taylor when he's only got four down linemen. Look at that, nobody in the box. Go no huddle and do it again. Dude, you gotta switch your defense. I don't care who you use it, bro. I'm gonna bully you like this. I'm gonna bully you like this. That's not even DeAndre Swift. That's my backup. I'm gonna do it again. All right, let's see what gap he shoots. Nope. <laughs> All we have to do is read which gap the user shoots and we're cash money to run this the entire day. Yup, my boy D Swift is in. Yeah, this is how we get back in the game, boys. This is how we get back in the game, boys. <laughs> this is cheese. Oh wait, now run commit. Run commit and I'm gonna throw a bomb on your head. Run commit. Do it, 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 do it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Rodgers. Allen Robinson was open way over there, but he's honestly getting in the backfield really fast. <gasps> Stop it, dude. He's all over me back there. This dude's getting so lucky right now. I'm not losing this game. He's just getting super lucky edge heat right now. This does not happen very often. All right, Todd Heaper, Allen Robinson. All right, Todd. All right, Todd. <laughs> God damn. Oh no, and he's gonna return this all the way. Oh, thank God. What a weird start today. Oh my God. I'm out of my element. 
Just gonna hand off to Pollard. All right, third and eight. Definitely a passing, definitely a passing down here. Oh, he's gonna throw here. Oh, what a throw. Get that shit out of here. Fourth and eight. All right, just get on Lamar and we good, boys. All right, little play action. Little play action, we're all over Lamar. He has nowhere to go but on my head. Wait, 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 get up and return it. I should have picked that off. All I did was hurt myself on the yardage there. Some pretty clean usering though, I'll say that much. Oh my God, are you shitting me? What is that shit? Why have I, I've been sacked four times? All right, I'm gonna start throwing this ball instantly. This is crazy. Gotta score right here. All right, Derek wide, wide open. Are you kidding me, bro? He hasn't even touched the ball. How is he getting hit stick fumbled? He hasn't touched the ball yet. How is he tired? Oh my God. It was a fumble six. Like, dude, I get it. If I'm running no huddle and I keep handing the ball into my hat back and he fumbles, like, okay, I get it, he's tired. This dude hasn't even been in the game. All right, second and 11. There's Todd. Ooh. What is going on today, man? What is going on today? I throw that pass. Oh my God, it's gonna be one of those days, bro. Fourth and two, I'm gonna hand this off to DeAndre Swift. Should definitely, <laughs> definitely be there. You're kidding me, bro. You're kidding me. What just happened? There was a wide open hole. What happened? This is insane. Derek Watt will fumble, but Lamar Jackson in the open field will not fumble. I guarantee it. It's gonna look like that this whole game. This is crazy, bro. I don't even wanna play right now. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I would've turned my Xbox off already by now, bro. I'm serious. I would've turned the shit off already. I don't even wanna play offense. I literally am scared to play offense right now. Cause just some shit is gonna happen that I don't wanna be a part of. Well, one thing that I haven't tried yet is I still have Todd Heap corner route to throw. So let's see if it's open. Uh, 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 it's, it's insane. He doesn't even have an X Factor. What's going on? This is crazy. All right, first and 10. Wait just a minute, bro. I could really get a touchdown. Wait, get out of bounds. A touchdown is not out of the question. I just can't get sacked. And I have to throw a good pass here, no matter who I throw to. All right, Todd Heap or Curtis Samuel, right? That's kind of the read here, first and 10. Ooh, Todd! Bye, have a great Ooh. time. I can't believe he got up for that. Wait, I can't catch him. He's gonna score. <laughs> Damn, I did all that just to throw the ball away. I guess I'm kind of getting cucked, but also, you know, that's a horrible throw, so that's on me. I don't know what he wants to throw here though. Probably just this deep one. Look at that, bro. He's one for six for six yards. It's 14 to zero. One for seven, six yards, an interception. We have to score here, dude. My offense has been sorry though. I got zero points. Of course my offense has been sorry. Let's do something here, man. That had good potential though. I kind of want to hit Todd Heap here. I'm hoping he's there. Um, oh shit! Hogan! Chris Hogan! Big time! All right, let's just hand this off to Jonathan Taylor. There's so much room here in the middle. We just need mediocre blocks. Oh shit, what is What's, that? What even was that? I, I guess I got positive yards, so I can't really complain, but I don't know what the hell that was. All right, easy throw right down in the middle to Jonathan Taylor. He's missing all his switches. Second and goal. Let's get there. Let's get there. Oh, finally. Finally, we get in the end zone. Oh my God. Literally still winnable. If we keep playing defense like this, bro, boy, it can be over. Pack and play, bro. I don't know what it is about the pack and play squad, but it's always some shit like this, man. All right, first and 10. Is that a real handoff? It is. Ooh, no, no way. Yep, I figured, I figured he'd do that. All right, everyone get ready for the run. We know a run's coming. Solid. Yo, hey man, can I get that um that hit stick fumble touchdown you gave him? I would not mind one of them. Uh, I'm, I'm run committing. Ah, <sighs> bro, run committing and sending eight and getting four yards on your head is so frustrating. <laughs> 
Now you give me the fumble? You wanna give me the fumble out of bounds, EA? He's going for this? Are you serious? <laughs> that was bold as fuck, respect. All right, that's the first respectable thing he's done all game. All right, clean underneath to Jonathan Taylor, who's gonna, sheesh. I see you, Jonathan Taylor. All right, so he's not using the middle. At least right there, it wasn't. That's what's nice about identifier. Because if they don't use it the middle, Todd Heap can get that every time. Sketchy, but we got that to go through. We're not moving fast, we're moving efficiently. I think he's gonna leave Todd Heap open because he's gonna take the slant. Oh, he doesn't. He picked me off on that twice now. Ooh, a little read option. I respect that. I don't like the fact that you don't fumble, but I respect the play call. Oh, man. Can you please fumble, bro? Like, this is so lame. I'm depressed to look at the stats of this game. Because I'm going to win in every category. He threw three for nine for 24 yards. Oh, my God. All right, well, I'm a little depressed right now. That's super lame. I did not have any fun today. Well, it's nice to know we only need two more wins to make the playoffs on Pack and Play Squad, but um, there's no amount of players I could have had that would have changed that shit. That was ridiculous. All right, boys. Hey, thank you for watching as always. Damn. Damn. Thank you for watching as always. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.